There he goes, the blinking sun. I'm light, then I will be very dark. So annoying. Here we go. Hi everyone, it's Nisha. So today I thought I will swatch for you all my Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks and lip liners. I will swatch them on my lips. You all know I love Charlotte's stuff. Uh, but I've always just had her nude lipsticks but lately I got really excited and thought I'm going to try some bright ones uh, so I've recently bought apart from the new hot lips too which are nude uh, I bought three colors that I would not normally wear now let's pray that the weather plays up it's very sunny today but the sun is going in and out and i want it to be you know as natural light as possible so you can see their real color so i have nine of her lipsticks well eight and the brand new pillow talk diamonds so her lipsticks come in two formulas once is the kissing uh, which is more of a very very creamy beautiful comfortable lip color and then you have the modern mattes and they are amazing so they have like a satin finish they are very comfortable on the lip they don't feel dry like normal matte lipstick but at the same time they don't have as great staying power as liquid matte lipstick but you know you have to compromise uh, these are much more comfortable and i would choose that anytime over a liquid lipstick she also has liquid lipsticks but i've never tried any of her liquid lipsticks i just didn't see a color that i would like okay so let's start with kim kw which is my most <laughs> used lipstick it's the perfect nude it's slightly like a beige pink um very comfortable the formula is beautiful And I usually apply this lipstick with her lip liner in Iconic Nude, another one of my favorite lip liners. That's an Iconic Nude. I know that might look a bit severe, but it won't. So I've got my wipes, I've got my tissues, I've got my concealer and powder, and let's start. So here is the lip liner. You also have to remember that these lipsticks will look different on different skin tones. Uh, right now I've got fake tan, so these lipsticks look totally different on me in a winter and in a summer, which is nice. You feel like you've got two different lipsticks out of one. So here is the Kim KW. Love, love it to death. lipsticks look very similar but they are not uh, so which one would be the lightest I suppose the dance floor princess so the dance floor princess is from the brand new um, hot lips 2 collection this is beautiful pale nude pink more on a cooler side I would say which is my favorite so can you see how much more pink it is than Kim KW and I would probably use the pillow talk with it so that is the pillow talk lip liner As you can see it is more of a bluey pink but still very very nude the 
the next lipstick is Bitch Perfect. This one is a bit more corally, sort of peachy nude, and I think uh, the best lip liner to go with it is Pink Venus. This is probably my least favorite color. It's just a bit too warm for me. I have to be so careful with peaches, corals and oranges. They don't suit me unless they have that certain tone. So this is definitely a peachy nude with, I would say it has a hint of coral. I don't mind it, it's probably not the best color on me. I think when I have tan on it looks better but I'm not sure when I'm pale what it would look like. The next lipstick is again from the new Hot Lips 2 collection and this is In Love with Olivia. So here it is, it's almost like a darker version of Bitch Perfect and again Pink Venus goes perfectly with it. is absolutely gorgeous but I'm not sure um, with my skin tone I think this is not my most favorite but the color is just divine and this like this is like the kissing formula they just feel so beautiful and shiny I feel like they make your lips look bigger even without the lip liner. It's a gorgeous color. So everybody says, oh, it's a pink one. But to me, this looks so coral. I don't know what you think. I think on my skin, it looks pretty coral. Today, I actually like it. <laughs> Again, it all depends, you know, on your makeup, if you are tanned, how tanned you are, the lipsticks will always look different. Okay, the next lipstick is Pillow Talk, her famous Pillow Talk with the Pillow Talk lip liner and her brand new Pillow Talk diamond. So, let me show you the swatches. So, this is Pillow Talk lipstick, then the Pillow Talk liner, and this is the diamonds. I don't know if you will be able to see it. Basically, it, it is like a, um, it's got Pillow Talk undertone, but it's overlaid with like pinky gold, diamond shimmers so you could use it on its own I suppose or to top up any other lipstick just give you that almost metallic look and in the sun you can see the sparkling so they are really nice on their own but let me now take that off and I will apply the Pillow Talk lip liner and the lipstick and then we will top it up with the, the Pillow Talk diamonds. Okay, let's apply the Pillow Talk lip liner. I still have the sparkle left from it, it's so pretty. Mm -hmm. 
So here is Pillow Talk. It's a beautiful color. It's to me, I think that's why it is so popular because it's so natural. It's like my lips, but better. It has a bit of mauve to it, I would say. It's a really, really pretty, pretty everyday lipstick. And I feel like this would go with any complexion. And now let's top it up with the Pillow Talk Diamond. I don't feel like it, like it gives the same impact when you top it off than on its own. Um, it gives you a bit more slip to it and glossiness but it's not making huge impact maybe if you put that on a darker color different color it will make a difference but as much as it's pretty um, it's not making that big of a difference um, to this lipstick So I'm just taking off uh, the lipsticks and wanted to show you the staying power of the lip liners. Um, they are quite hard to take off, so hair lip liners are really good. Okay, let's get to the brights now. So the first bright lipstick I bought, and you've seen it in one of my videos, is the Electric Poppy. This color, it's so beautiful. and. I love it so much so after I bought this I bought a couple more and there is another one that I want which is Coachella Coachella Coral and you've seen it in one of my vlogs I tried it in a shop and I quite liked it but they didn't have it in stock so I'm still thinking about it um, and I might order it online okay so this is your electric poppy where will you be able to see it Mm. now I couldn't really find a lip liner that would go with it she doesn't have lip liners that go with every lipstick um, crazy in love is one of them but that is a bit too dark so what I did I bought a MAC lip liner in beat which goes really well with it can you see so let me apply that I love this lipstick okay i love this color when i look in my monitor it looks a bit more neon and brighter than it is but i won't know till i actually watch the video back because this monitor can be misleading but i don't know this is not red this is not orange this is not pink i don't know what color that is but it is the most beautiful color ever very similar color to this is the queen um i was when i was choosing the lipstick i was in between the two the queen i would say was a bit more fuchsia whereas this is probably more raspberry i even would call it watermelon color like a really bright neon watermelon color love love this one okay the next lipstick is a velvet underground it's another bright lipstick but more of a berry fuchsia color i'm useless at describing colors and she gave me the crazy in love um, lip liner but i feel like the beat would probably go with it as well yeah definitely so you can choose but let's do the crazy in love
this is another beautiful color and it's just so smooth and comfortable i cannot stress enough you might think it's similar to the electric poppy but of course when you look here um, you can see this is much brighter um, than this one love love this color i cannot get enough of them and lately i've been just wearing these bright lipsticks okay this lipstick will really surprise you it surprised me i think it might be a uh, nicer for winter but i it's dark it's mysterious and i feel like it's very sophisticated and this is love liberty again never worn lipstick like this and this is like a, a beautiful deep berry but it just has that right tone you know there is berry and there is berry um you, it has to be the right tone and this one seemed to be really good for me and with this i thought that my lip liner in love trap will go pretty well with it so love trap is really lovely um lip liner it's a, a bit like iconic nude let me put iconic nude next to it can you see it's like a bit a bit uh, warmer version of iconic nude really really lovely so could use this one or you could again use the crazy in love with it let's use crazy in love you are 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 maybe i mix it with the love trap just feel so amazing I cannot tell you it's a, a very blue based berry and I feel like it makes your teeth look, look whiter which I need uh, so yeah, I do. Re I would never ever in a million years thought that I could wear that lipstick, but I really, really love it. Uh, so these were all lipsticks. I've got one more lip liner, which is called Super Size Me. I supposed to, I think, use this one actually with this lipstick. So that's Super Size Me. It's like a rosewood color, I would say, and I love these um, type of colors. They go with a lot of things so that was super size me okay my lovely so these were my this was my charlotte tilbury lipstick collection with swatches i hope they came out right um you know it's so hard to get it right with the lighting especially the lighting changing outside that's like pain in my butt um but i hope you enjoyed it thank you so much for watching and stay fabulous darlings <laughs>